Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. As I mentioned recently, I've started taking on a little extra work. It's nothing major, just some general house repairs. And I find as these have progressed, I have picked up things and you know changed doorknobs like this here. And sometimes I don't need all the bits and pieces. And instead of throwing them out, I decided to keep some of them because uh, I found a few times that a job will come up where I only need a certain part and I don't want to go buy the whole thing to, uh, you know, do a small job like that. So I've got this. This is the Dura Max Pro Organizer. I got it at a dollar store and it doesn't live up to any of those names. Uh, but it was really kind of cool because it would keep everything where I needed it. It fit my toolbox. But as you can see, uh, one of the latches is already given out, and I'm kind of concerned if the other one gives out, uh, the top might pop off, and all these bits and pieces will scatter throughout my uh, toolbox, and, well, that would be bad. I don't really want to try and have to reorganize all this. So I decided instead of just, you know, spending another, I think, what, 325 I see there, uh, and buy another one, uh, I'm going to uh, take some acrylic, and I'm going to build my own. It's an easy build. There's uh, really not much to it. I decided to expand a little bit on the size. It still has to fit in my toolbox, of course. So I'm going to go up to a foot from, I think, uh, around 10 and 3 quarters. And it was a little over 7 inches long, uh, wide. And I'm going to go up to 8. But the main thing is, uh, there's a couple bits and pieces. Uh, a couple of uh, mostly just small uh, socket bits that would fit in uh, one of my drivers. Uh, it wouldn't fit in there, so I was using another container to hold that, and I, I wouldn't mind being able to consolidate a lot of this. And there's also a fair number of uh, commonly used, uh, well, screws and bolts and stuff that would be nice to have all in one place. So I'm going to try and make one that is going to you know, hold as much of all that stuff as possible. And of course, be clear, so it's going to be out of, out of acrylic because it's easy to spot uh, what's in it and what I need and all those sorts of things and uh, like I said it is something that's extremely easy uh, to put together uh, one small problem there I put the blade up a little too high and I nicked the bolt uh, but it's it's fine it's uh, not going to damage it too much so the, the the way I decided to go about this is I want to make a sliding top for this I could have put hinges on it but uh, a sliding top is Something that's less likely to have, well, a broken hinge or broken latch. It's going to be a bit of a friction fit, so I want to, uh, you know, make sure it's reasonably snug, but I can obviously, of course, just slide it back and forth without having to fight with it. Which is another thing I didn't really care for, the uh, Duramax Pro. Uh, that was, the latches were quite uh, stiff, and when you're out in the cold, uh, sometimes I have to do stuff outside. Uh, they get even more stiff, which is probably the reason why one of them broke. So this is going to be a much simpler and I uh, won't have to worry about anything uh, snapping. So what I'm going to do here is I took a, this is a 3 16ths end mill and it's going to run a groove through this. I probably should have removed the plastic first, but uh, I didn't. It was being bunched up in the groove. And I'm just going to pull it out now and as you can see, this is only, uh, this is two times speed. And you can see it just cuts right through. This is at full depth. So what I'm going to do is, to keep them the same, I am going to uh, run this through. And then, of course, there's going to be one for the other side. And I'm going to obviously just leave everything in place as is and uh, run them off both at the same time. So they're both at exactly the same height. These clamps I've made uh, a long time ago now. And this is the shortest bit I had of work I had to do because it's only going through half of the quarter inch this is basically right on the bed and so I had to go and get uh, well they're in my my uh, general parts box for uh, bolts and whatnot but I had to go and retrieve a couple of uh, one inch ones because this is really really tight to the bed and I was thinking of putting a third uh, clamp on this but with the the two uh, at the ends spread so much and then clamped right tight into it uh, there wasn't any flex in this at all so it was a perfect one of course it's also being held flat to the bed of the mill so uh, it turned out to be really quite nice a nice straight even groove with uh, no issues and again it was a nice new bit so i didn't have to worry about adding any lubricant which sometimes can interfere with the methylene chloride for uh, doing the weld up 
And uh, anyway, so I cut all the pieces. And I didn't bother showing you all the cuts because uh, there's a few of them. Well, there's a bottom, of course, and the top, and then the, the four uh, side pieces. But there's also going to be uh, a number of, you can see it at the far right of the screen, uh, dividers. Uh, I could have done the dividers a number of different ways. Um, I did think about this a little bit while I was doing this. It's easy, of course, when I, whenever I cut acrylic, I cut all the pieces of a given size at the same time. That way, when I weld them up like this, I don't have any um, issues with them binding and or sticking out too much or not enough. Uh, so I just cut them all, and then as I was progressing through this, I was deciding whether or not to make them just friction fit with a little bit of uh, groove, and then I decided not. Uh, I find whenever I get something that has uh, adjustable uh, you know, dividers, I just put them in where I want them and that's the end of it. I don't even bother moving them ever again. So what I'm going to do is, um, I've obviously worked with the other one for a little while now and I'm quite happy with uh, certain placements and this is going to be a little bit more roomy uh, so I wasn't too worried about it. I was just going to uh, weld them in place and be done with it. I started off, these are just three quarter inch uh, plywood I cut to the spacer uh, si uh, size I wanted. Uh, one of them wasn't uh, enough, it was a bit of a flex uh, from top to bottom, so I just cut another one. And this gives me a much uh, greater hold, and it's a simple matter of uh, holding up against it and then uh, doing the weld. Now, I'm not going to show you all of this. <laughs> There's not a fair amount of pieces. Uh, once they're all cut, though, it only took 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes to do all the welds. This is in... Uh, Four times I think but even still it just takes maybe about three or four seconds for each of the wells to hold sufficiently that I can move on to the next one and then because I am doing them uh, one side than the other uh, they have plenty of time to uh, solidify sufficiently that I don't have to worry about uh, them shifting so now I've trimmed those two pieces same two pieces uh, to the length I want and I'm just going to alternate them so that I get um, one shelf, obviously, uh, one divider on one side and then the other one on the other side, uh, just to keep it symmetrical. No real reason uh, other than the fact that it'll look nicer, I guess. Uh, so there you go. This is one was uh, further towards this side and the other one's going to be towards that side. And that's it. That's all there is to this. Just a simple matter now of finishing up the welds and putting on, of course, the front. The back, as you can see, or maybe not too clearly, it goes all the way up. So when you slide the drawer in, uh, sorry, the lid in, uh, it bangs up against that. So that's the backstop. And then the front, uh, that's going to go on last. It is just a little bit, um, a little bit proud of the surface. Makes it a little bit different. Uh, sorry, a little bit difficult to put the drawer in initially. Uh, but then it goes in nice and snug. Uh, I'm going to move it around a couple of times here. But when you put it in all the way, it acts as a bit of a lock. You're going to see it near the end of this. And it, it moves nicely. I made it a little snug because I obviously don't want it falling out. Uh, and of course with acrylic it will gradually wear and uh, will become well, a little bit more loose. But So I'm going to show you here now. So I'm just going to pop that in and then just put a little bit of thumb pressure on either side and it becomes locked which is kind of cool it's uh, very simple and it won't come off now and then i just have to lift up and then it comes so there you go leave comments let me know what you think of all this uh, as i said it was just a simple build today uh, it's very useful this sort of thing and you can just i can just pop up my toolbox and it will you know keep everything organized thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video and bye for now